I was very moved by a video that went up on YouTube from the people of Romania called SOS Pungest. Um, and uh, saw the people standing against Chevron. Um, and Chevron is an American company, yes? And so I've grown up uh, seeing the logo <laughs> of that company everywhere across the landscape. So to know that uh, an American company is causing um, such harm and to the point of uh, people uh, putting their own bodies at risk to stand up and give a message to the world that this is not what they want for their community, I felt that I was um, the, the receiver of that message. Sandra Stangraber vine in Romania să prezinte rezultatele cercetărilor recente. Fracking brings with it many problems for health and the environment both, and we have seen these problems now uh, in the United States. So I've uh, come as an American biologist who has been studying the health effects of fracking with my colleagues uh, coming to um, Europe to talk about the evidence that we have. And that evidence um, includes problems with water contamination because uh, very often the gas wells leak. Um, there's also quite a lot of air pollution linked to fracking. Wherever fracking goes, air pollution follows. And, and we now have emerging evidence in the United States for health problems of people who live near fracking operations. These can include asthma. Um, they can include nosebleeds, and also now we have very worrisome evidence for um, problems with pregnancy among women who live near drilling and fracking operations. Doctor in biology and scriptoare Sandra Stangraber spune că fracturarea hidraulică este extrem de costisitoare. Nu creează locuri de muncă pentru localnici fiind un domeniu extrem de specializat. Iar copiii care suferă de astmă și cei născuți prematur, mai mici și unii chiar cu defecte, costă statul american milioane de dolari. Raises ethical questions. Why have we begun to roll out uh, this dangerous inherently accident-prone industry across the land where people live before we have studied it, what, uh, the safety or danger. So now it's too late in the United States. This is already going on, and we're studying the effects on people who are being exposed, and that uh, is not how we usually do things. We, we, of course, don't want to conduct uncontrolled experiments on people. The message I bring from the United States to Europe is to... Um, We desperately need a moratorium across our country as well as yours until we can sort out um, the, the health, the, what the health effects are.